Yep. Jockey. And they're away. And the fairly conservative pace in the early stages, though Double Trigger being chased up to take the lead with his white face, Double Trigger, are going on from Grey Shot. Just tucked in behind them, Election Day, a little bit wide of the others, is Sir Persian Punch, Double Trigger the leader from Grey Shot. Then Cannon Cannon, Election Day. And Persian Punch on the near side, just in behind them, Double Eclipse. And Double Trigger making it from Grey Shot and Election Day and Cannon Can and Double Eclipse. Behind Double Eclipse is Persian Punch and then comes Classic Cliché. They'll be swinging right-handed shortly and they're going quite a good clip now. Double Trigger the leader from Grey Shot in second, Election Day third. Then comes Cannon Can on the inside is Persian Punch on his outer double eclipse. And then tucked in behind them is classic cliche. But still making it Michael Roberts on double trigger from Grey Shot. Election day just uh, stumbled a little bit there but didn't lose very much impetus. He's fourth behind uh, Cannon Can, who's moving up on the inside of Grey Shot. Persian Punch getting closer, then comes Double Eclipse, and then Sam Ran, and still Double Trigger. The winner in 1995, making it from Grey Shot, the winner in 96, with Cannon Can close on the inside, then Persian Punch, and then Election Day. Behind them, Double Eclipse, and then comes classic cliché. They're beginning to breast the rise of the hill now. They've got uh, just about uh, six furlongs to run in the Cross and Goodwood Cup, and it's still double trigger the leader from Grey Shot, traveling well on the outside of Cannon Can. Just in behind them, Election Day and Persian Punch. The favorite classic cliche is still last as they run down towards the elbow. And as they do so, it's still double trigger from Grey Shot, Cannon Can, Persian Punch, Election Day, double eclipse making good ground. Classic cliche now making ground from the rear towards the right of the picture. And as they come down now past the three pole, it's double trigger the leader. Double trigger from double eclipse, it's full brother. And here comes classic cliche under Frankie and Tory on the near side. It's double trigger from classic cliche and double eclipse as they come down past the two pole. And classic cliche has gone to the front now. It's classic cliche on the near side. Double eclipse is fighting back. So is double trigger. Double trigger's fighting back at the far side. Double trigger's getting up and he's going to win it. At the line, double trigger is the winner. Classic cliche is second. Double eclipse is third. Fourth was election day. And then came Persian Punch and Sam Rad and Cannon Can and Great Shot and behind Great Shot but State Fair. And last was Corradini. And so Double Trigger has won the Cross and Goodwood Cup for the second time in his career. And once again, he's beaten his full brother Double Clips, who was third. The result, first number six, Double Trigger, owned by Mr. Ron Huggins. Trained by Mark Johnson and written by Michael Roberts. Second was number one, Classic Cliché. Owned by Godolphin Racing, trained by Saeed Bin Sarur and written by Frankie Dettori. And third was number five, Double Eclipse. Owned by the Midland Partnership, trained by Mark Johnson and written by Jason Weaver with fourth, number seven, Election Day. And what a brilliant Training performance this by Mark Johnson. He's produced first and third this time, first and second in 1995. Yeah. Well, what a wonderful race. What a wonderful piece of riding by Michael Roberts. And what a wonderful comeback by Old Trigger. And it looked for a moment like being a one-two for Mark Johnson. He's made every yard of the running. He asked him, they took the blinkers off him today, and Michael Roberts made him work. Classic cliches come from last. For a moment, it looked as though he'd get there for Frankie. 
just like two years ago, double eclipse wanders around a furlong and a half out, and now it just comes to raw courage. Uh, it was a fantastic race. <coughs> um, I should think Michael Roberts will need a stretcher when he gets off this horse because he's uh, ridden the horse the whole race. He's never been on the bridle. He's pushed him the whole time. He might have just got slightly, slightly headed, but what a brave horse he is. 